another really nice day out there today. Much cooler, more seasonable for this time of year after that dry cold front moved through the other day and now dealing with a much cooler night as well. We are dry across the region, so nothing showing up on our sky cams. You'll be dry out there for your evening or I guess a late night commute here as we progress throughout the nighttime hours. Seeing things get pretty chilly pretty quickly here. 45 in Carbondale, 42 for Perryville. Still dealing with a lot of 50s out there though. 53 for Eddyville, 55 for Paducah, 54 for Murray, 57 still in Kennett. But as we progress throughout the evening, expect those temperatures really to go down back into the upper 30s potentially as we wake up tomorrow morning. And just like today, tomorrow we barely get uh, above that uh, mid 60 mark for high temperatures. So another nice seasonable fall like day tomorrow as well before we do end up warming things up. We're clear and cold tonight early in the week though when we start our work week we'll start to get very warm. Our afternoon highs back into the low 80s potentially and uh, even our morning lows back into the 60s for some of us and that's out ahead of a cold front that could be heading towards us here for Halloween on Thursday. Could be a rainy day on Thursday. We'll track that here in a second. Satellite and radar showing you some upper level clouds moving through the region right now. Not expecting any rainfall with those clouds, but again, we'll expect to see those throughout at least the early morning hours tomorrow as we do stay chilly. Future cast showing that continuing to push on by throughout the morning time, and then we stay mostly sunny throughout the majority of your day on Sunday. So Sunday looking like an absolutely wonderful day to get outside, especially during the afternoon hours uh, throughout our area. You want to keep the Storm Track 3 app handy, downloaded, ready to go because we are going to have that cold front coming our way for Halloween. It's going to give us the potential to see more of that rainfall. We do stay dry at least for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So to start your work week, We'll stay dry out there if you have any of those outdoor activities. That cold front heads our way on Thursday and gives us at least a scattered chance. Uh, some of the best chances for rain since we had Helene impact our area. We're talking about potentially rainfall in and around an inch, inch and a half here widespread across the region. So some moderate to heavy showers expected for your day on Thursday. Right now the timing looks uh, to be shifting a little bit. Right now it looks like to be earlier in the day, morning into the afternoon hours, hopefully clearing out for those Halloween activities, but we'll have to check that timing out as we progress throughout the week. So you want to keep checking back in with us throughout the next several days. Looking at our seven day forecast, starting things out cloudy on Monday uh, with temperatures bouncing back into the mid and upper 70s and eventually low 80s towards midweek. Halloween comes around and that cold front does as well. We're talking clouds and showers, at least for the early portion of the day. We'll have to uh, see the timing on that front and make sure we grind out the details on that throughout the next several days. Hopefully not impacting trick or treaters, but something we'll have to keep in mind over the next uh, little bit as we head towards Halloween. All right, keeping our fingers crossed Absolutely. for a dry Halloween. Thank yes. you so much.